Hi, I'm Carolyn Harvey. I'm a baby sleep expert and the founder of Dream Baby Sleep. Myself and my entire team have been helping thousands of families worldwide take control of sleep in their homes. Congratulations on the purchase of your Mamaru sleep bassinet. You are going to find it very helpful over the next few months. I've worked closely with four moms to create a few simple tips to help you and your baby get the best sleep possible. Let's get started. To swaddle or not to swaddle. I've found that swaddling is very calming for babies. It mimics that snug feeling that they're so accustomed to inside the womb. And it also prevents that startle reflex that can interrupt sleep. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide, but if you do swaddle, continue to swaddle until your baby starts to roll or breaks free. Lay your baby down drowsy but awake. This will help your baby learn how to fall asleep in her own space. Consistency is key. Use the Mamaru sleep bassinet every night for sleep and for as many naps during the day as possible. Your baby will learn to associate the bassinet with sleep, which will help her fall asleep more quickly. If your baby is fussy, experiment with the different motions, speeds, and sounds. There are five unique motions that you can try, and each motion has five speeds. Simply push on the motion icon to move faster or slower. And if your baby likes a bit of vibration, click on the vibration icon to turn it on or off. Four Moms also has an app where you can control these motion speeds and sounds right from your phone. Every baby is unique, so experiment with different combinations to see what your baby likes best. If your baby is inconsolable, check to see if her diaper needs to be changed, if she's hungry, or that she doesn't have a fever. Always consult your pediatrician if you have any concerns. And finally, make sure to always practice safe sleep. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that you keep it firm, flat, and fitted like the Mamaru Sleep Bassinet. You want a firm mattress, a fitted bassinet sheet, and a flat surface. We wanna also make sure we are always placing our baby down on her back to sleep. As it relates to temperature, we wanna keep the room between 68 and 72 degrees. When in doubt, cooler is always better. It's very important that we keep it bare. There should be no pillows, no comforters, no bumpers inside of your bassinet. And lastly, you want a room share, not bed chair, for a minimum of six months. That's it. Follow these simple steps and let your Mamaru sleep bassinet Bounce and sway your little one off to dreamland.